Hello, um, welcome to my advanced lyricism seminars. Here's another one, which I have already tried to retake three or four times trying to give you the best explanation. This is going to be my third or fourth try. I can't really remember. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and give you the best of the best that I can give you. And really what this is, is just another saliva. And what you must learn in this is uh, when you listen to the song beforehand, this is... One saliva. I just salivaed. And there's a little bit of the wet there. Uh, it's called Gleet Rhyme. And it is a very specific, FOC-oriented, introduced idea that I have observed in this song. I've also observed this in other artists as well, because it is a skill that must be understood and um, the skill also attributes with Pharrell Williams as well as, um, God, who was that rapper that was with Snoop Dogg? It was Snoop Dogg and Pharrell, wasn't it? The one that did the, God, I think it, Fabulous is another one. You know how Pharrell said, that's why it didn't work for me. That is kind of what I mean. But this is just the same example. There's three artists, Pharrell Williams, you know, and the other two. FOC, or I could say Cold Hands. I think he's the only one that perfected it in the, in the, in the group. And we're going to listen to a section of his verse again, and we'll understand what Gleet Rhyme is. Gleet Rhyme is um used to be you know since the body must be you know it has to be from the body it doesn't matter um gleet comes out of your tongue and the body will shake and get in a form to respond to the music all music is like this you know it it fills itself out it creates the wall boundaries it triggers certain emotions and it is always health for the body and this is uh, basically what I'm trying to teach you here. And it's not a bonics. It's, it's more advanced than that. I'm also going to go ahead and personally, by hand, count myself, Chronic J, how many words are in this. And, you know, for some people, gleating just like um, oral stimulation on the clitoris, it will shoot out something. This is what I mean. And it should be described here where it says soft basis in this song. It's not understandable fully, but it must not be abonic. It is just that. And that is what he did when, so, when. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 231, 231 um, words are in this song. At some point, you'll hit a toleration point. In school, this is a very weak point. Life is always martial arts, is one thing you learn. It's kind of like, you know, you're always struggling against yourself, so you can find where your breaking points are. It's like when you grab someone's wrist or elbow, pull it back. Here is a threshold point. When you're learning, and you're sitting here, and you get thirsty when you're counting these letters. One, two, three. Somewhere in here, you will get wanting to take a sip of water. That's when you know that this gleet response is there. And you get really thirsty when you're in school and you're learning. And that's not good. 
Nobody doesn't want to learn anything in school. Right. So, you know, once you get tired of counting so many, you will glead some. This is where a bonyx is singled out. Number 27. Maybe it's here somewhere. So at some point, I'm going to get tired. And I will, again, resemble another thing on top of what's there. That is the gleet. That is the gleet rhyme. This is very, very crucial. Okay, so, all right. The only part we're looking at here is just one part. The rest of this is all regular, okay, out of the entire rhyme scheme. Right there. This is the part where I get thirsty. It's it's inevitable. It's not it's not any other thing. It's just the fact that I got thirsty listening and I needed some water. It's like I'm on the desert here. I'm listening to this song. The only source of water is nearby. It has gleat of water. Somewhere in this rhyme. I'm in this rhyming desert, counting each letter. Bored as possible. <laughs> Ready to strangle myself. Trying. Right here. To me, it looked like a kabasa because it's saba, you know, and kabasa, like if, if you cooked it, you know, it could have some stuff coming out. Really, it is the gleet area. This is also the word abonics that rhymes with it in slant rhyme very slightly. Abonics, saba. There's also no English word really for that. And it, it runs together with other words, so it, it's not, you know, but when it's singled out, all it is is the tongue mechanism, which gleats. Which on the sun, uh, that, okay, is what we're looking for. Also, it should be intelligible, but water should come out of the tongue in that area. That is the source of why that the saliva comes out of the two holes, the one gland. It's just like when you're speaking to someone and they, their tongue, or they swallow like they're drinking something. This is this mechanism in the body that does this. And the rest of this song does not do that. Since I would get tired after that part, and I would see it and be like, damn, that was the best. I mean, man, couldn't you just soft bass, you know, it, soft bass, soft ball team, soft ba, this on the soft ba, there's no word for it, okay? And that is what used to be a bonic, but now it is the gleet rhyme, is what you must learn. What it is is a skill. You can also hear for well Williams songs. Or just a song drop it like it's hot when he says, that's wider than what down your throat. And then he's kind of going like that. What you're looking for is that source of water, pure water, that is coming out of the tongue. And it should have a choke up point when you listen. It's kind of like these two glands down here. But anyway... You know, all of this is used when you listen to music. And you can hear the glands pulling. You know, and it can't really be removed. But um, the more that you, you know, the more that you use it, the more that you speak in a way that you can't understand it, 
if you got rid of every one of these other words and couldn't be able to write any other ones. This part is singled out because it is gleat of the body. Remember, it's bionic. It's part of the body system is what we're studying here. This, all these other words are completely not needed for this source of water to come from the mouth. And that is what I'm trying to teach you here is that a bionics is only just the tongue with spit coming out with water, fresh water for others to drink comes out of the tongue is what it does. So, um, if you were the best gleet rhymer and you learned that gleet rhyme is singling out an area in your body, in your speech after repeated over and over and over, it's so redundant because you wrote something down and you rehearsed it again and again and again and then you got sick of it and then water <laughs> comes out right there. What you're trying to learn is that. And there's a lot of neck muscles that are used when you listen to the music. I make it rain like the bitch on the soft boxes. And he even says, why I'm hot in part of the song. That's also a quote, you know, that you could actually kind of get that from because this is why I'm hot from Mims is probably also like Pharrell as well. I and mean, this is studying lyrics line. Um, fabulous. And when Fabulous was in Snoop's song, which was also Pharrell, you know, because you know, he lightly spoke, but that is basically get rid of every single word in this. Make it illegal to speak anything else in this song. And only be able to say these types of things in that contaminated way. And you have to be I make it rain like that bitch on the soft box. This is why I'm hot, my flow hard like a box spring. And don't get mad cause you like the way I do my thing. But come my dick thick like the rope around the boxing ring. And my boxes be always showing. Let her whole know she had way there. Keep going. I be pimping girls, but I don't think they be knowing. If you look real hard, sometimes you check me, y'all be posing like. Little waves, nigga. Water. Yeah. Yeah, it's blowing, nigga. She said, Zach, I want to eat ya. Well, I hide my ears like Easter. I like airs to cheese on my pizza. Now, nah, hear me out. I save a lot of money by switching to Geico. So, that is the Gleek Rhyme lesson. And that is what I believe that song basically taught me. I believe that it should be shared. I believe other people should learn this. And basically, like I said, concentrate the words, make them gleat, try to understand how that worked, and apply it. And if that's so, then everything else will make you thirsty, right? And this would make you not thirsty, it would be replenishing water. So basically what we're trying to learn is that ebonics is replenishing water from the gland. <laughs>